Hello guys, it's me, Nikki. Hello. Welcome to my kitchen. It's the most wonderful kitchen of the year. Welcome to Winter Wonder Week Day 5. So today we're doing a brand new challenge. And this one is um, actually, this one did not come from here. It came from someone else's here. Someone on Twitter tweeted, you should do the Jenga makeup challenge. So we're coming up with our own rules today. Linda's behind the camera. Hi, Linda. Hi. Hi. We're writing down um, products that I love and products that I don't love. So we have all this Jenga material. <laughs> we wrote down a lot of products and a lot of stuff on the, on the Jengas. We're just gonna call them Jengas. And in a little bit, we're gonna turn them around so we don't see what's on them. Then we're gonna shuffle and shuffle and shuffle and shuffle. We're gonna build it up. And what's gonna happen is I'm gonna compete against Linda. We're competing against Linda. Hello. So sorry in advance. Whenever Linda grabs a little Jenga. <clears throat> yeah. Exactly. That means I can no longer get it. So if Linda grabs my favorite foundation, it's gone. Oh, okay. So we're just finishing up on writing a couple of things to complete our Jenga tower. And then as soon as the tower falls, that's it. All the little Jenga Jengas that I have will determine my look. And now another great rule that Linda came up with was... So sorry again. What if... The first little Jenga Jenga you get is like the first step. And then keep on going. And then I was like, you were supposed to be my best friend here. What are you doing? Okay, so let's uh, finish up. So of course. Yeah. Of course. James Charles palette. Mm -hmm. In D V Lashes Glazed Donut. Oh, Juvia's Place palette. Let the battle begin. Okay, so we're turning everything around. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to shuffle. Okay. We have the very watchful eye of Mrs. Linda uh -huh. to see if I don't cheat. Because a lot of people always think I cheat at my challenges. I'm looking forward to this. Uh huh, me too. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh. Thank you. Hold up. Yep. No! <laughs> no! I am the judge of Jenga. <laughs> I'm not looking. No. I'm not looking. I swear. The memories with this game. Yeah. When you think you're so good at this game because you've been playing it all your life and then you lose. Okay, you start. I start? Yeah, of course. George Emma. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm shaky. <gasps> Ooh. Glazed donut! To start off with? Oh shit. Um. Oh, please let it be bad. What is it? Magnetic lashes! Oh, bless the lord of Jenga! Is it coming? Yeah. <laughs> oh. What? Maybe we need to use the lip gloss? <laughs> Spray. <laughs> oh, Hi. Should bang. Should bang a lane. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh god. Concealer. She just grabbed my favorite concealer in the whole entire world. Ooh. Oh, please be foundation. <laughs> I'm out. I'm out. Black lip pencil. <laughs> you want to read it? No. Oh! No, that's not a problem. What is that? Individual lashes. Oh, thank God, bless the Lord. Oh. 
please let it be green lips. What the? <laughs> <laughs> Sheer ass concealer. <laughs> Blow it out. Thinking positive. Yeah. Oh my god, what is it? Oh my Did god, she mean? just grabbed my favorite powder. So. <gasps> No, I what? can't. No, I can't. What? Okay, what if we build it again without these in it? All right, you guys. So before we continue playing makeup Jenga, I wanted to play with the first couple of Jenga blocks to see what my face will look like. What is this called? Please let me know in the comments down below. What What is this? What is this called? Like a little Jenga blocks? Little Jenga Jenga? So of course, the first little Jenga Jenga that I won was glazed donut highlighter as the first step before anything else. You know, last time I checked, highlighter goes on in the very last portion of doing your makeup, not before. All right, so I have glazed donut right here. It is so beautiful, it's so stunning. And I think I'm just gonna apply a shitload to hope that it'll shine through later on. And just go into town with this. Oh my god, it's such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful hair. My moisturizer today is so glowy. Like, I barely even need highlighter, but we're going to town because we're covering this up later on. I mean, what if I kind of work my foundation and stuff around this to still let this sort of like be there? Aliens just choked on their breakfast because they saw this coming from Earth. Okay, now that we're beautiful and beaming, it is time for the second one. And the second one that I took was <laughs> Maybelline Tease Lip Gloss. This is my favorite nude lip gloss on the market, but that goes on my face before I do setting spray, and setting spray is my final and last step of the day. How? <laughs> How? <laughs> Oh my God, I'm looking like expired milk. All right, the next one that I took is my Morphe setting spray, AKA my final step in my makeup routine. Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay, now, Black lip pencil. It doesn't help that I have world's nudest lip gloss on my lips right now. <laughs> the 90s called. They don't want anything back. Like, stay away from us. <laughs> This this is the mood. Next up on the list is sheer as concealer. AKA my worst nightmare. No, actually, I want to backtrack on that. Lately, I know this might come as a shock to you. I've been wearing, I know, sit down. I've been wearing tinted moisturizer on a daily basis. <laughs> Who would have thought? All right, so uh, for my sheer ass concealer, uh, bless her heart, it still is a sheer ass concealer. This is Charlotte Tilbury, the retoucher um, in the color one, fair. Okay, so we are gonna apply this under the eyes. Huh? Uh, we, we. Oh God, um, I need to place this super strategically because this is gonna cover up my highlighter. Done. Right here. When you cover it. Okay, so a little trick is if you want more sheer products to become more intense and opaque, dry it. You know, let your concealer go on a first date with your skin and, you know, take it slowly. Like everything in life, take it slowly. So when you actually give it the time to dry and settle down, the powders in the product will set in place and that will give the product more coverage. See? Because I let it dry for so long, this actually has somewhat of a, a reveal. Tapping it in using our finger. You know, that doesn't look half bad. Okay. 
Tap, tap, tap. Do you have foundation already? No. Right. You don't even have foundation. <gasps> oh, lips. Oh! <laughs> That's coming out. Are you kidding me? The, Are you kidding what? me? Why am I so bad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, that's easy. Oh, I got oh. Boom! Nice. It is. <laughs> <laughs> you want a foundation. You get foundation. Sheer ass foundation. Oh, okay. You wait, monster. So sorry. Yay! You did it. <laughs> oh, you don't like that? Laura Mercier powder. Next in line, blue lips. After applying a nude lip gloss and black lip pencil. All right, so I went through my weird ass lip colors drawer, dr drawer, and I found this colored rain matte liquid lipstick in the color royal. Can I like do something artsy with this perhaps? Like a gradient blue to black lip. <laughs> okay, time for the next one. You know, Lady Luck was buying some new Chanel bags or some new Fendi bags because she clearly was not around to help me out. So uh, the next one I got was sheer ass foundation. Today I'm going for this one right here. This is by Dior. This is called the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation in Zero W. Just like with the concealer, a little trick to give this more give um, is to let it dry and let the powders in the product settle and set. You know, wherever I applied the concealer, this is going like over top. Do you believe life after love? Alrighty, next up is Laura Mercier powder. Now I actually put this in here because this isn't my favorite powder because it's so yellow on me. Since I'm the color of see-through paper, this looks like bright banana powder on me. Picking up powder, putting it on the oily parts, even though there's like nothing to set here. There's like legit nothing to set in place. All right, now let's go back to the game and find out what my next step will be. Ooh. Oh, I see it moving. Oh, it's coming right at me. Brow product. <laughs> Sorry. Mm. Oh my God, yes. What is it? Morphe 35O palette. <gasps> oh my God, yes. What is it? The Juno and Co sponge. You can do it. You can do it. Yeah. <gasps> wow, impressive. Flash Paradise Mascara by L'Oreal. Oh, that's okay. Oh, how did you even do that? Uh, yeah. Oh, that's okay. Boring ass lashes. Ooh. Mark Jacobs bronzer. Oh my god. Alrighty, so next up in line is the Morphe 35O. Oddly enough, I'm kind of starting to live for this like sort of nude skin, glossy forehead, ombre blue and black lip fantasy. I'm like, can I opt using this for my brows instead of my eyes? It just says the palette. I don't have to use it on my eyes. The skin is pretty okay. Like it, I don't hate it. It's super matte over here and super shiny over here, but like I don't hate it. And I feel like as soon as I like put a brow on, we are a whole lot more put together. So I am using the 35O on my brows instead of my eyes. Oh, and if you're wondering from the palette, I'm using this shade right here for the brows. See, that looks a whole lot more complete than if I would have gone into my eyes. I think that's what I'm trying to convince myself right now. All right, this is starting to look like something. This is starting to look like an edgy, edgy, 
don't piss me off mood. All right, so the next one on the list is the Juno & Co sponge. I literally have nothing to sponge right now. L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. I'm really, really happy with this because this is my favorite mascara. This is actually the only mascara from the drugstore. It, I've had it for a little bit, it's a little bit dirty, but this is the only mascara that holds my lashes up. This, for my nightmare of a lash, is great. So I'm just gonna coat them and give myself something. How I miss not getting any falsies this challenge. That would have transformed the look too. The Marc Jacobs bronzer. This is quickly becoming one of my favorite bronzers next to my Jouer bronzer. Um, this one is in the color Tantric. Um, okay, what am I gonna do with you? <laughs> All right, so since I haven't used the Juno & Co sponge, I will just use this to tap on some bronzer. Okay, this is actually not that bad. And then maybe a tiny bit in my crease. Honestly, you guys, this is, this is, it could be worse. Oh, oh yeah, you can do it. But I can't. I, I, I got this. Oh. All right, my glow babies, and that completes my look following the Makeup Jenga outcome. And I must say, uh, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Take off this lip, put on a, a cute gloss, and we're ready to go out of the door. That forehead can beam signals to the moon and back. Definitely let me know in the comments down below how you think I did and if I should do another Makeup Jenga because I thought this was so much fun. Jenga has always been one of my favorite games and I always think I'm so good at it, but I'm really not. And without any further ado, let's go on to today's Dutch word of the day. So in yesterday's Winter Wonder Week episode, of course, the Dutch word of the day was for Christmas tree, Geshboom, and Rose Gold Squish left an amazing comment on my video yesterday saying, the Geshboom in my house has so many lights, it's a glowing goddess, but it's the second glowing goddess because you're the first. <laughs> Thank you. As for today's Dutch word of the day, I wanted to teach you the Dutch word for game. Let's go. Spell. Sp. L. Spell. So you could be like, oh my God, Jenga's my favorite spell. <laughs> it's like a spell, like a spell with one L less. If you wanna see your comment or your face pop up in my next video tomorrow, all you have to do is leave a comment down below featuring the Dutch word of the day, or of course, leave a video response on Instagram under the hashtag Dutch word of the day. As for today's giveaway, today's a winter wonder winner. I am giving away every single product used for this look. All you have to do is, of course, be subscribed to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and of course, leave a comment under this video about anything. Oh, and three lucky glow babies of you will win. I wanna thank you so, so, so much for watching today's Makeup Jenga Challenge. I hope you enjoyed, and hopefully, I will see you guys tomorrow for the second to last Winter Wonder Week episode. Bye, guys.